Good evening, I'm Lenore Moudou. This is Africa 54. Vincent Macquarie is off today. Security issues dominated Monday's talks in Ethiopia between U.S. President Barack Obama and Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Saleng. The state visit to Addis Ababa was the first by a sitting U.S. President. Mr. Obama praised Ethiopia for its role in fighting terrorism in East Africa. He also says America will continue to provide support and assistance to the country. Our security cooperation is pushing back against violent extremism. Ethiopia faces serious threats, and its contribution to the African Union mission in Somalia have reduced areas under al-Shabaab control. But as the Prime Minister noted, yesterday's bombing in Mogadishu reminds us that terrorist groups like al-Shabaab offer nothing but death and destruction and have to be stopped. We've got more work to do. This past week, Ethiopian troops have helped retake two major al-Shabaab strongholds. We have to now keep the pressure on. Ethiopia is a major contributor as well to UN peacekeeping efforts. It contributes more troops than any other country in Africa. And we're working together to improve the ability of Ethiopian peacekeepers to respond rapidly to emerging crises before they spiral into widespread violence. President Obama also spoke about Ethiopia's neighbor, South Sudan, which has been plunged into conflict and political turmoil. Ethiopia has also been a key partner as we seek to resolve the ongoing crisis in South Sudan. Later today, the Prime Minister and I will meet with leaders from across the region to discuss ways we can encourage the government and opposition in South Sudan to end the violence and move toward a peace agreement. I want to thank Ethiopia for the sanctuary. It provides hundreds of thousands of refugees who have fled South Sudan and conflicts throughout the region. Mr. Obama and Prime Minister de Saleng also discussed a range of other topics that is affecting Ethiopia, such as development, the economy, and the need for more democratic reforms.